You know, I've waited a long time to share this footage with you because one of her favorite things to do now every single day is to go to the chicken coop every morning with her daddy and collect the eggs, whether it's in the morning or afternoon. Like she looks forward to it every single day. And more it's eggies. more eggies. And it's usually like the sweetest thing that you've ever seen. She runs to it with her little carton. She puts the eggs in. She's so excited. Until the day came that I wanted to share that footage with you because we got this footage instead. <laughs> What do you have? Did you find eggies? Yeah. <gasps> how, how many do you have? Hey, hey. Wow. What do you have, baby? Mia, what do you see? Chicken and eggies. The eggies? Can you put them in your box? Go ahead, show me how you put them in your box. Put the box down. Good job. Get your eggies. Go get them. Oh my goodness. Get your eggies. Abby. A chicken. A chicken. Get the egg for daddy. Go ahead, baby. Do you have eggies? Uh, a bee. It's not a bee, honey. It's just a feather. Go ahead. We can see. <laughs> There's no bees, I promise. Wait. It's just a fly, you see? It's just a fly. Yeah. Can you put your egg in? Ah! <laughs> Are you ready for spaghetti pie? Yeah. Is it gonna be so delicious? Yeah. Let's go cook. Come on. Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali. What's your name? Mia. What are we making? Spaghetti pies. We're making spaghetti pies. That's the most perfect portable food. I love it in the, in the summer because if you're going to the beach or the pool or even back to school, it's great eating cold, so it's great for your lunchbox. Um, but it's a classic Italian dish that I grew up eating and I'm thrilled to share it with you. I made a recipe on it years and years ago. This is a little bit easier, and this is just the way I do it all the time. So I want to share it with you I because you always ask one, me on Instagram. Um, we're going to be using eggs from our own chickens today, so we're very, very excited. Um, I do want to tell you that, you know, if you are going to be using egg, go ahead, keep mixing. If you're going to be using uh, farm fresh eggs, chances are they're going to be various different sizes. Some are smaller than others, some are bigger than others. If you're using regular commercial eggs, then you'll want about five uh, large eggs uh, or one. about six or seven smaller farm fresh eggs. Go ahead. So, you go ahead, you can start whisking. I'm going to show you how you do that. So, let me show you what I've got already pre done because I wanted this video to like, I want to speed it along a little bit because you know very short attention span <laughs> with a two and a half year old. I've got some salami and sharp provolone that I just whisked up in my food processor. It chops it really, really fine, uh, but you can also do it by hand. Lots of fresh, fresh cracked black pepper. I've got some pasta, some spaghetti here that I've already cooked in some salted boiling water, uh, and I drained it so that that's ready for me. I've got a, a skillet here with some light olive oil in there. I'm gonna just preheat this in just a second. And then I'll have some Parmesan cheese that I'm gonna grate in, but at this point, all I'm gonna do with my little crazy child is just crack some eggs. Like I said, the, the, the amount is going to vary on the sizes. These are smaller, so I'm gonna use about six-ish eggs. Um, so, she is like really into this. <laughs> so we're gonna do that, and then we'll, we'll proceed. Last one, we went right in that time, living dangerously. All right, look at the color of From Fresh Eggs, by the way. Our beautiful chickens that roam around the backyard like it's their, <laughs> it's their own, which it is. Um, and they are providing us with some incredible eggs. And we're very, very grateful because there's just nothing like it. And it's just like how I grew up when I was little, because my Nona had, you know, eggs when I was little, and you know, from, from, fresh, from fresh eggs from her chickens when I was little. So I'm thrilled that she's experiencing the same thing. And we do owe a huge thanks to her daddy yeah. because he, does such an incredible job taking care of them. Great job! A little bit more? A little bit. Ah, that's too much. Okay, that's good. Wonderful! That's good. Go ahead, keep going. I'm just gonna grate in some parm. Go ahead, keep mixing. She, this kid is obsessed with her chickens, being in the kitchen, and currently very attached to her mama. <laughs> uh, which is all things that 
warm my soul. Although I would like to shower in peace, but you know, any of you mamas out there can feel me, please leave a comment down below letting me know I'm not alone. <laughs> um, but really, it is really cute. Good, keep going. Now we're gonna, pretty much gonna add everything else. Let's add this in. Go ahead, mix it. And then we're gonna add the pasta and mix it all and then we're gonna put it in the pan. Right? Yeah. Good. Does that look good, baby? Mm-hmm. Is it gonna be so delicious? Mm-hmm. All right, pan is ready. I want this one, pan is Here, can you hold, can you close the box? I'm gonna add this to my hot skillet. Mommy, I want this one. We don't need any more, baby. That right in. Oh, it's gonna be so good. And you just kind of, I, I just pat it down just to kind of make it even, but it's not gonna be perfect. But don't worry. It's gonna be so del delicious and salty and yummy beyond belief. So all you do now is you let this cook on your stove top. Ideally, you wanna do this in a pan. Don't use cast iron. At least in my experience, I have not had good experience with it because it just sticks like crazy. Um, so, you want to put this in a skillet that can go from stove to oven. So it's gonna be on the stove for about seven, five to seven minutes on about medium high heat until you can see that the bottom, if you just move it with a spatula, it's really golden brown, delicious. Slip it in your oven at 400 for about 15, 20 minutes and then it'll be perfect. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. We're just gonna clean up and then we'll get ready to eat and that's gonna be so good, right? How many more eggs do you need to cut to crack? She's like, all of them. Once it went in the oven, it was in there for about, oh, it's still steamy because it's still warm. Not to salivate. It was about, for about 20 minutes. It looks fantastic. It smells even better. This is fantastic to eat warm, hot, but it is amazing cold, and it's how I'm used to eating it. It smells. I'm just going to go for it because it smells so good. Mm-mm. It is so good. There are no words for it. It's like bringing you right back to my childhood. If you grew up eating it, you know what I'm talking about when I say it's just nostalgic. It's a great thing to have in the fridge. Hey! It's a great thing to have in the fridge if you feel like you've got people coming over all the time and you want to have something ready for them. This would be the best thing to have on hand. I will have the recipe for you on LaraInTheKitchen.com. Make it, you'll love it. It's perfection. You're going to be obsessed. The rest of people will be there, and I'll see you next time. This one is crazy. Two and a half is no joke. <laughs> see you later. You want to run? Yeah. Oh, sounds like a fabulous idea. I want running. And she's off.